Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daisy and on this channel we are discovering everything in this universe. So today I want to talk about healing. More specifically, integrating your masculine and feminine, which will help you come into full wholeness and heal. Yep. So what happens? So a lot of times when you have childhood trauma or trauma in general, you end up with a wounded masculine or a wounded feminine. Either way, in this wounding process, your balance becomes off. Like you're not quite as balanced in your true self, in your true nature. So what happens is because of this wounding, it's hard to heal, really. It's hard to heal because you're wounded. You've experienced a traumatic event and you're hurt. And a lot of the times people were not around when this trauma happened that were supportive, caring, nurturing, kind, or showed you how you should be, how you should heal, how you should integrate yourself. So a lot of the time we have the wounded feminine, which is crying and weeping and sad and full of sorrow and pain and fear and doubt. And when we have a wounded masculine, we have a masculine that is stuck in his ways doing and abrasive and cold, uncaring, unkind, narcissistic, only out for themselves. And that can happen in a feminine too, but here's the thing, these are energies we're talking about. We're not talking about a female and a male biologically. We are talking about masculine and feminine energies. You can be a female on this planet and have masculine energy. You can be a male on this planet and have feminine energy. Here's the issue. If you are wounded, if you need to heal your heart, your soul, whatever needs to be healed in yourself, you have to integrate both your masculine and feminine energies because if you do not put them both together cohesively in yourself you will always feel like you're missing something you will always feel like you're not whole like you're you're always going to be looking for something that you don't feel you have because you haven't integrated in yourself that which is your whole being so, we could talk about integration all night. We could talk about how to do it, what to do, and where to start. And I'm going to tell you the first place you need to start. It's really simple. It's meditation. Meditation and listening. Being mindful listening to those incessant thoughts that are going through your head every day, all day, and over and over and over on a loop. Because those are your patterns. Those are your core beliefs. Those are how you treat yourself, how you respond to yourself, how you feel about yourself. Those loops 
that you replay over and over and over again on a on a cycle and what happens is when you start meditating more and it's not about shutting your mind off meditation is not about shutting your mind off meditation is about slowing down your body in order to hear your mind and observe what it does in those quiet moments and what meditation does and why i say meditation is the first step to healing and integrating your masculine and your feminine energy because when you meditate you hear those loops you get to pay attention you're slowing down you're you're catching them you're you're hearing them and you're see, you're hearing how you talk to yourself and in order to heal yourself you have to change the way you talk to yourself the way you feel about yourself what you believe you're capable of and i know change is hard sometimes it's difficult but you know what there's one constant in this entire world and that's change everything changes everything grows everything everything changes you get older you become wiser you grow as a human or plants grow your animals change everything around you changes seasons everything changes that is the one true constant in this planet and that is change now if you want to change your thought patterns and your belief systems and your karmic cycles and the 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 way that you feel you have to start with yourself. That is the one thing I'm going to tell you over and over and over again. Everything starts with yourself. If you cannot cultivate it in yourself, how can you expect? How can you expect to be able to give it to someone else or receive it from someone else or recognize it when it is coming from someone else? You can't expect these things without first planting the seeds in yourself, cultivating those seeds, harvesting that crop, and allowing it to be abundant in your life. You cannot expect to heal anyone else. You can't expect to help anyone else. You can't expect to do anything for anyone else if you don't first heal, help, and do for yourself you can't and the first step into integrating your masculine and your feminine energies is meditation just five ten minutes in the morning five ten minutes in the morning every single morning and five ten minutes at night before you go to bed every single night just those two times and you do that for 30 days 30 days and you will see your entire life start to change. You will start to heal your mind, which will start to heal your heart, which will start to heal your soul because your mind is your ego. And once that ego kind of dies, your soul and your heart can be heard loud and clear because your ego wants to keep you in pain. Your ego wants to keep you separate because it thinks that it's going to keep you safe by keeping you separate from other people or yourself and feeling as if you need something. Your ego is there to keep you safe but it doesn't keep you safe. It actually causes more problems and more issues because your ego self, your mind, your mind, that's not who you are. That's what you project to the world. It's what you 
you show them who you really are that goes deeper than the mind that's in your heart that's in your soul it goes deeper it's it's deeper than your thoughts it's your your core it's who you are who you are inside your mind is not who you are who we are is unconditional loving beings we are infinite spiritual beings living a temporary human existence on this world and we forget who we are so we can remember We go through this life trying to remember who we are because when we are born into this world, we forget. We forget our spiritual nature. We forget who we are. And in order to heal from that trauma and those wounds and that pain and that heartbreak and the hopelessness and the fear and the doubt, to heal all of that, it's simple. You just have to become whole within yourself. And that will attract everything that you need to you. Once you become whole in yourself, you will heal. Healing is a lifelong process. Healing takes time. But once you become one with yourself, you're on your way to being healed. You're on your way to healing those deep wounds. And I give you credit for that. I applaud you for healing. I applaud you for taking those steps. And the first step, meditation. Just sit down, be quiet, be still, let your body relax and listen to what's going on inside of you. Feel what's coming up in your body. Feel what's coming up to come out because that is where you need to heal. That is where you need to become whole. Please take time in the morning and at night, right when you wake up, take the time to just listen. Listen. Don't judge. Don't act. Don't do. Just receive and listen you have to do and eventually you'll start to integrate more and more and more of your energy and you will become whole and you will become healed and you will become the person that you are meant to be and that my friends is a beautiful thing peace have a great one